Okay, welcome back to our channel and our topic for today is about the principles of green architecture or green building designs. The green building design process begins with an intimate understanding of the site. In all its beauties, complexities, designers can create features in their building that mimic the function of particular ecosystems, creating a new habitat on structures in urbanized areas is especially important to support biodiversity and a healthy ecosystem. The following points summarize key principles, strategies, and technologies which are associated with the five major elements of green building design, which are the five major elements of green building designs are sustainable site design, water conservation, and quality, energy and environment, indoor environmental quality, and conservation of materials and resources. Those are the five major elements of a green building design. Now let's talk about the passive solar design. Passive solar design refers to the use of the sun's energy for heating and cooling living spaces. This is sometimes known as the solar panels. The building itself or some element of it takes advantage of natural energy characteristics in its materials to absorb radiate the heat created by exposure of the sun. Passive systems are simple, have a few moving parts and no mechanical system requires only minimal maintenance and can decrease or even eliminate heating and cooling cost. Passive solar design or the passive solar design uses this to capture the sun's energy. Solar passive features shape and form of buildings. Orientation of the facade, design of building plan and section Thermal insulation of the thermal storage roof. Thermal insulation and thermal storage of the exterior walls. Design depends on direction and intensity of sun, wind, ambient temperature, humidity. Different designs for different climatic zones. What are these green building materials? Green building materials are generally composed of renewable rather than non-renewable resources. Green building materials can be selected by evaluating characteristics such as reused and recycled, zero or low or off gassing of harmful air emissions, zero low toxicity, toxicity, high recyclable, recyclability, durability and local productions. The materials common to many types of natural building are clay and sand. When mixed with water, and usually straw or another fiber, the mixture may form adobe or clay blocks. Other materials commonly used in natural building, natural building are earth as rammed earth or earth bag. Cordwood or timber, frame post and beam, straw, rice, hulls, bamboo and stones. A wide variety of reused and recycled non-toxic materials are common in natural building including urbanite, salvaged chunks of used concrete. Green roofs, how you can call it green roof. Green roofs serve several purposes for a building, such as absorbing rainwater, providing insulation, creating a habitat for wildlife, increasing goodness and decreasing stress of the people around the roof. People around the roof by providing a more aesthetically pleasing landscape. 
and helping to lower urban air temperatures and mitigate the heat island effect. There are two types of green roof. The intensive roofs, which are thicker with minimum depth of 12.8 cm and can support a wider variety of plants but are heavier and require more maintenance. Extensive roofs, which are shallow, ranging in depth of 2 cm only, lighter than intensive green roofs, and require minimal maintenance. The term green roof may also use to indicate roofs that use some of form of green technology such as cool roof a roof with solar thermal collectors or photovoltaic panels. What are these green walls? Also known as vertical greenery is actually introducing plants into the building facade. Comparing to green roof, green walls can cover more exposed hard surfaces in the built environment where skyscrapers are predominant building style. There are three types of green walls. The green walls can be divided into three fundamental types according to the species of the plants, types of growing media and construction method. Wall climbing green wall is a very common and traditional green wall method although it is a time consuming process Climbing plants can cover the walls of building naturally. Sometimes they are grown upwards with the help of the trellis or other supporting system. Hanging down green wall is also another popular approach for green walls. It can easily form a complete vertical green belt on a multi-story building through planting at every story compared to the wall climbing type. Module green wall is the latest concept compared to the previous two types. It requires more complicated design and planning consideration before a vertical system can come to place. It is also probably the most expensive green walls. Alright, let's go green. What are the benefits of the green building? Green building is not simple development trend. It is an approach to building suited to the demands of its time whose relevance and importance will only continue to increase. Comfort because a well-designed passive solar home or building is highly energy efficient. It is free of draft, extra sunlight from the south windows makes it more cheerful and pleasant in the winter than conventional house. Economy. If addressed at the design stage, passive solar construction doesn't have to cost more than conventional construction and it can save money on fuel bills. Aesthetics. Passive solar buildings can have conventional appearance on the outside and the passive solar features make them bright and pleasant inside. Environmentally responsible, passive solar homes can significantly cut use of heating fuel and electricity used for lighting. If passive cooling strategies are used in the design, summer air conditioning cost can be reduced as well. Typical prototypes for sustainable design Courtyard Typical prototypes for sustainable design Number one is courtyard Courtyard homes are more prevalent in the study area as an open central court can be important aid to cooling house in warm weather Courtyard draws fresh air down through the wind catch The comforts offered by courtyard air light, privacy, security, and tranquility provides the shadows are properties nearly universally desired in human housing. Courtyard used for many purposes including cooking, sleeping, working, playing, gardening, and even places to keep animals. 
okay. Below is the design or elevation of the court, courtyard design. Thickness of stone walls. The walls are designed to provide insulation. Sunlight filters through increased wall thickness. Can be 40 to 50 cm. Roof. It is placed a mixture of sand and lime mortar above the linoleum protect the bishop from the impact of the sun's heat and reduces the permeability of water falling from the rain in the winter. Number four, narrow openings. Narrow openings and high from the ground to prevent entry of heat during the day for the inside and maintain them for the night. Uh, this study produced prototype preferred to a typical housing prototype which is built with central courtyard single story two bedrooms. The plan of the prototype is shown in the figure below. Building orientation determines the amount of solar radiation that it receives in addition to other elements such as evergreen trees were planted on the north south north side to act as a windbreaker in winter while deciduous trees on south on the south side to shade in summer only courtyard design the central courtyard allows spaces for relaxation and interaction of occupants keeping their activities away from neighbors in addition to the past cooling strategies it achieves enough daylight penetration reduces solar heat promotes cooling breezes while keeping out hot and dusty wind sun angle and shadings the design doesn't oversize the amount of south facing windows as oversizing can lead to overheating horizontal exterior overhangs are used on the south side of the building to block direct summer sun the overhang is large enough to block summer sun but doesn't block sun in the winter okay guys study the figure below for your courtyard design thermal thermal mass the walls of the house are thick and massive the high mass walls are cooled from the cool night time temperatures in turn the walls then cool the occupants the occupants during the day by accepting the heat radiating from their bodies construction materials walls solid 8 inches masonry wall which could be doubled wall for maximizing thermal mass roof construction flat lightweight concrete 20 cm thick and plaster 1 cm floor slab on a grade covered by carpet or casework rainwater harvesting the roof of the green building consists of gutters or pipes that deliver rainwater falling on the rooftop to the storage tank harvested water can be used for toilet flushing and garden irrigation aquifer water well pumps are built to be used for extracting water from the other underground source which is called the aquifer energy systems biogas plant productions biogas is one of the many renewable energy system that provide greater independence at very low very low cost produced gas from anaerobic digestion of organic material will usually be piped from the top of the tank to a biogas cooking stove or biogas lights photovoltaic or PV array the photovoltaic panels or the solar panels are installed on south facing roof which is inclined with an angle to maximize the amount of electricity produced solar domestic hot water solar hot water system are, are used to collect energy from the sun in the panels or tubes to produce domestic hot water used in the house so carefully study guys 
the figure below of the photovoltaic roof and the solar domestic hot water okay guys here are the six questions these are the frequent asked questions about the green building design number one is what is green building number two what makes a building green number three what are the benefits of a green building number four how is green building related to smart growth and sustainable development number five how do buildings affect natural resources and number six how do building affect climate change okay guys so answer the questions in a piece of white band paper and submit the jpeg or picture to our google email and keep the hard copy in the brown envelope that will be submitted all your quizzes quizzes hard copy will be compiled in a brown envelope and submitted after our midterm exam okay so don't forget to subscribe and make a comment on every video for your attendance thank you so much see you on our next topic